If you've ever struggled with taking a self-portrait, Sony's NEX5R has something for you. The ability to use a phone or tablet as a remote viewfinder. The camera, an updated version of the NEX5 interchangeable lens compact camera, was announced at Berlin's IFA Consumer Electronics Show, where I got a chance to try it out. Here's how it works. When the smart remote control function is selected, the camera begins searching for a nearby phone or tablet running Sony's Play Memory software. The software will be available as a download for both Android and Apple iOS. In the test, it was running on a Sony Android cell phone. The phone then connects with the camera. In our test, it took about 10 seconds for them to automatically hook up. Once done, the smartphone shows a more or less real-time video image that matches the camera's viewfinder. It doesn't include any of the text that's typically overlaid on the viewfinder and lags the camera by just a fraction of a second. Hit the shutter button and the camera is commanded to take a picture. In IFA tests there was a delay of about two-thirds of a second between the button press and the picture being captured, which rules it out for fast moving action but not much else. The camera stores the photo as normal and a nice feature is a two megapixel copy sent to the smartphone or tablet. That copy can be reviewed and, without heading back to the camera, another picture taken if it's not quite right. Sony's IFA booth was noisy with wireless signals, but the camera worked well over a short distance. In open space, Sony says it'll work up to 300 meters. With the introduction of Wi-Fi into the camera, Sony is also bringing the smartphone concept of downloadable apps. The smart remote control is one such app. The camera can also share photos with other devices, such as TVs or computers, over the Wi-Fi link. The NEX 5R will be available in major markets from October 2012. In the US, it'll cost $650 for the camera, $750 for a camera and lens bundle. At IFA 2012 in Berlin, this is Martin Williams, IDG News Service.